Well, well, if it isn't the slaves and the traitor, I don't remember giving you permission to enter the palace. So it's true. You really are the one behind all this, Kelzalik. I don't remember giving you permission to speak, either. Know your place, slave. Now we see his true colors. Yeah, a despicable excuse for a human being. Though really, I guess that makes him pretty ordinary, huh? Kelzalik, you were Lord Dohalim's most trusted advisor, his closest ally. Why would you betray him? Don't be a fool! I didn't serve him because I wanted to. I expect a mere slave would know, but there are many powerful contenders for the position of Lord. A contest of strength determines the one who will be Lord and undisputed ruler of a realm. There is no choice in the selection. If my master had any ambitions of becoming the Sovereign, I would have gladly served him. But he had no intention of fighting for the crown. Indeed. Can you slaves even imagine how that looked to the rest of us? Enduring the whims of an ambitionless lord, all we could do was wait for the end as we suffered through our humiliation. You want suffering? Try being Danon for a day. So you plotted against Lord Dohalim in secret. And when my brother found out... And I would do it all again if it meant returning Menancia to its rightful state! A realm where Danans are slaves and Renans their masters. It's the natural order. It's Enough! Who are you to decide what is natural or rightful, traitor? Migul. My brother. He dreamed of building a world free of suffering. He gave his life for that dream. And all you've managed to build is a lake of death. You. You killed my brother, and now you'll die for it! My brother's dead because of you! Why should I concern myself with the passing of one pathetic slave? Have you no shame? Tiger blade! Careful! It has some kind of camouflage! Hit him! 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 They vanished again? Listen carefully and keep your eyes peeled. These six have got your name on them! Take it! Strike! 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 Inferno Torrent! Strike! 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 Armor won't sink! I'm on a roll uh, now! And I'll go down in a sec! Easter! Easter! Your mind! Evil. I never miss! You're finished! One more! Sword Rain Alpha! Tiger Blade! Blue Away! Evil Golem! Where are you going? Let's 
Slaves are despicable. Your dreams of attaining lordship are no more. Give up, Kelzalik. Attaining lordship? <laughs> Ridiculous. Only those who possess a master core can become a lord. <laughs> what did you think just anyone could do it? But then, what were you trying to accomplish with this? Didn't you betray your lord? Yes, that's true. However, there are other lords. Other lords? So you mean... At last, the truth is revealed. Dohalim, where have you been this whole time? Cleaning up. Kelzalik, you've made your last of these. The fruit of Helgen? You found my production facility? Correct. And I tore it down. But something still troubles me. It's clear that this is no ordinary fruit. Nor was the equipment used to grow it. You couldn't have done all this without outside assistance. Indeed. Something like this must have come from another realm. 
Mahansar, perhaps? You actually expect me to talk now? At this point, the contest for the crown will be over soon enough. And you will finally receive the punishment you deserve for your weakness. I've already received my punishment. <laughs> May this be my final act as the Lord of Elder Men and Sia. <laughs> Go to Mahaksar, Ganeth Horrors, wherever you think you'll find a suitable lord. <laughs> Are you all right with this? He killed your brother after all. He did. But then I thought, he's nothing more than one common, ordinary Renan. He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> so after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What is that? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalik's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danon guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Where are you going? To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The Crown Contest impacts far more than just the Danans. You're choosing to fight Lenegas and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. So, you're gonna go out there and make that dream real on your own? You may be decided on your path, but that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Pardon? You heard me. We're fighting to liberate the Danans, and you're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents side by side with a Renan lord? Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, where'd Kisara go? I don't see her anywhere. Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. That makes sense. She did just lose her brother after all. <sighs> we ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisara's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave.
What's Kisara going to do now? I'm sure. Or it's complicated for her. Where did Kisara run off to? You don't think she took off after Kelzalik, do you? No. Nagal entrusted her with his dream. She wouldn't do something reckless like that. Right now, I think she just needs time to think. What she does from here on out is up to her. She has to be the one to decide. Hmm. <laughs> You all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? In that case, you should depart via the South Gate, rather than the one you arrived through. After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. You think the Danins and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? This realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. <coughs> Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Megal died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but 
We were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Nagal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elder and Sia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part, that you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do. Do Halim. I understand. I'm no longer a lord anyway. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahagsar, the Valley of the Four Winds. I'm amazed how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized it before. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me, even before I joined the Elder Men and Sia Guard. So, in a way, Using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either, but I appreciate the thought. I'm sure you'll do us proud, Kisara. Right. You can all count on me. What was Kalzalek even after in the end? Isn't it obvious? Clearly he wanted the throne for himself, and was gonna have his goons execute Dohalim to get it. He had to have known he couldn't hope to defeat a lord. He should have run while he had the chance, instead of holing himself up in the palace. Maybe he thought he couldn't run? Either way, the outcome's the same. So he got desperate and decided to go for broke? One might argue that he was another victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the Crown Contest, yet I refused to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt. 
even though doing so meant defying Renan hierarchy. I know I've said this before, but Danans and Renans wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part, nor do I feel any pride at what occurred. Spare us the pity party. You literally just joined us to uphold those ideals. Shion! No, she is absolutely correct. I shall speak no more of my misgivings. <clears throat> Something. Mahogsar. That makes four out of the five realms that I've visited now. I wonder what kind of lord we're gonna find there. It doesn't matter. If they try to get in our way. We'll take them down and that'll be that. <sighs> Over so soon. Let's dispose of the trash. Not today. Here we go. I'm not getting started. Stay calm. I shall provide assistance. Wind well. Light burst four. Radiant Genesis. I'm on a roll right now. <laughs> Mega Ray! Your choice like that could easily be... This one's got your name on it! Ashes to ashes! A merry distraction! There's still it's more to go! Talon Hurricane! Come on! You're finished! Uh. Here I come! Gemini Hurricane! Talon Hurricane! Ready and rare! Uh. Sword Rain Do Alpha! Do it! Shion! This one's got your name on it! Ashes to ashes! <laughs> that was way stronger than regular firepower. You won't hear me complaining. in the forest. found there's something in the water I didn't realize there was a pond here yeah this is Taka pond and it happened to have saved my life once upon a time what do you mean as a kid I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to it's terrible to swim in but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Renan eyes. 
Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done. Everything looks fine with the lure. All right, let's do this. Ha! Could it be? Good fishers always keep their cool. Ha! There we go. I'll let you go this time. Is this what I think it is? I'll let you go this time. Oh! I'll get you next time. All right. I'll let you go this time. Reel it in. She's got a good size to her, all told. That flapper was a true fighter. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara, I think I've seen enough. Oh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicente. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay! Ha! 
I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. <sighs> hey. Hmm? Is it just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Megal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're going to keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? <gasps> she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicente. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Gisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <sighs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it.
I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys. I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth Elemental Beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Why are you looking at me like that? That armor you wear is standard issue for the Menensian Guard, right? Originally. I've added some flair to it in a lot of places. I noticed. Especially with that open back. We guardsmen pride ourselves on never showing our back to our enemies. It's my way of making myself live up to that. Plus, it makes it that much lighter and easier to maintain. Hmm. Dohalim, do you have anything to say about this? Every guardsman is allowed to wear their armor as they see fit. And you, La? Huh? Why are you asking me? All done. Come and eat. You okay, Xion? You're not eating very much. What's wrong? Do you not like the cheese fondue that you made? Yeah, I'm used to seeing you more excited about food. You're not feeling sick, are you? No, I'm fine. It's nothing like that. It's just... What? I guess I just don't understand what the appeal is. We could just as easily put everything on a plate and pour the cheese on top of it instead. I suppose it lies in being able to decide exactly how much cheese you want. There's also something to be said for enjoying how it all turns out. It's fun. That's fine and all, but I wish the plate to mouth time was shorter. I think I understand. You don't like having to put in so much effort into eating something, do you? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Actually, now that I think about it, you're a way less fussy eater than you look, Xion. In my book, there's no one right way to eat a meal. Tuck in, take your time, be dainty or devouring. As long as you enjoy the food, that's what counts. There's no need to stand on ceremony while we're out camping in the wilderness. E yeah, you're right. In that case, don't mind if I do. Uh! I've never seen someone dump that much cheese on a meal before. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Miguel was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first joined the Guard. Now, it's just a part of my routine. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. It was Megal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel? Oh, right. She was Megal's second in the Gold Dust Cats, wasn't she? That's right. She's always been a very critical and down to earth person. In other words, the complete opposite of a dreamer like me. You're more an idealist than some pie in the sky dreamer. Even so, that's my brother's doing. 
He'd never let me stop seeing a brighter world. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked so hard to set an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. You know what? I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Migal stories? I guess I'd better get comfortable. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Before we go, do you guys have everything?
You can never be too prepared. But did we have to spend so much? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. I just noticed none of you other Danans have spirit cores. Why is that? Both of my parents were part of the resistance in Calaglia. In fact, my birth was kept a secret from the Renans. Mine too. We always lived in hiding, so I never had a spirit core embedded in me like I was supposed to. What about you, Alfin? You were a slave in Calaglia before all this, weren't you? To be completely honest, I'm not sure why I don't have one. All the other Danan slaves around me did. I was the only exception. They tended to keep their distance from me to avoid attracting any attention from the soldiers, because of my mask and all. What about you, Kisara? Do you still have your spirit core? No. I was able to find a good Renin doctor who's sympathetic to our kind, and had them remove it before I left. They did such a great job, the procedure didn't even leave a scar. One of the benefits of coexistence, huh? I know that once the spirit vessel was shut down, there wasn't much need for me to hurry. But still, I didn't like having that mark of servitude lingering on me any longer than I had to. It may sound a little strange to hear me say this, but... I'm just me now. Not a guardsman or a slave. I'm my own woman. And this is my chance to have a new beginning. This sure is one rugged road. You'd think they'd keep this at least a little better maintained, right? Why spend energy fixing that which is rarely used? Repairs require time and effort, which in our world means slaves, often in great numbers. Ah. For you, it may be a simple request, but that can quickly become another's difficult burden. Nobody gains anything without someone expending effort. And you know, somehow that someone always ends up being a Danon, while the Renans are the ones who gain. True enough. Ideally, in a perfect world, I think it's only fair that the ones who need it should be the ones to perform the work. However, when doing so could be dangerous like it is here, there are many who would prefer that it be others who risk their lives in their stead. So, what you're saying is that people will just put up with the inconvenience until someone else comes along to fix it for them? Indeed. And it is those who can no longer bear that feeling that inevitably take action. Much like the Danans in our group do so now. As strange as it may be to hear such a thing from the likes of myself. It's true that most of the Danans in Calaglia have been resigned to just accepting things as they are. Still, we can't just blame them for... <sighs> what are you making that face for? You're not worn out already, are you? <sighs> Nah, just regretting I ever said anything in the first place. I have a bad feeling about this. Burn! Burn! I shall provide an SD airborne Stand scoundrels. Sounds like a job for yours truly. He's it. Right with you. You're mine. Range blast. You're mine. You're finished. Death shall not now. be forgotten. Elusive D. I'll take uh, you. Sword ring alpha. Eat uh, this. Uh, Tell me I'm not done. Sword ring alpha. Look. Hey. Blow them away! How's that? Mm. Acceptable. Oh, no. Hey! Blow them away! Radiant My turn! Cut. Take this! Here. Take Here. this! Mirage! First turn! Elusive Deity! Can you take it? No further! Raining Splash! Strike! Do it! I'm going out in an instant! Impact Cross! 
My exploits are bearing fruit. <laughs> All right. Nowhere to run from my heart. When he slows down, that's our chance. First strike. Throw it. Prepare to be seen. Here I come. Take this. Here. Ready to I'm on it. In a bind. Move it. Here I come. Here I come. It's over. Does it hurt? Watch this! Can't get out of this! Crumble! It's over! Blow away! Now we're not Infernal Can't get out of this! Raining slash! Take Take this! Leave all you me! Take this! Talon Hurricane! Not on my watch! Do it! Rip it to Take! Blow, Blow them away. away! Got some interesting moves there, Dohalim. I'm glad you're on our side. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself useful to you all. Huh? What's wrong? We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. What, you mean that pile of garbage? No mere garbage, I assure you. Still, I've never seen anything shaped like it before. I'm intrigued. Uh, uh... Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. I think he might have found some old Danon relics. They look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. And yet here I am, holding them without so much as a second thought. I imagine this sight must be unsettling to you. Not really, just that it must be nice to be a Renan who has time to indulge in stuff like that, unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? Charmed may be a better turn of phrase. I simply love objects that can give me a sense of what their maker was thinking, the history that went into their creation. You see, we Renans have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. I get that, but it's not like this stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old. Real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. I'll take your word for it. Well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make sure you're careful with it. All right, Dohalim? But of course. <laughs>